we're going to talk about use cases because I, I think there are some powerful use cases. But what's what's the problem? You talk about the standards bodies. You talk about security. You talk about privacy. But I mean, to be honest, I mean, this is a pretty heavy lift for Apple, I would think, because a, a lot of the data in the medical record is not standardized and it's put in by people who did not study to be data entry clerks. They actually studied a lot longer to not be data entry clerks. And they're really not that great at it, to be honest with you. It ends up all, all ends up in the notes or it all ends up in, in different types of formats. There's not a lot of standards per se. I mean, there are SNOMED and other things, but there's not a lot of standards per se that's driving how we input the data into the record. So what are the challenges with, with getting to where we want to get to with patient-driven uh, interoperability. Absolutely, and I am blessed to be able to offer perspectives from my work around other physicians and folks in the industry to kind of comment on this concept of identity. And I think so much we've historically looked at identity in the context of privacy and security and what I have access to in terms of my information. But we've also, and I think, when the 21st, excuse me, in, in 2021, started to get into more about what identity is. And we must recognize we're in the middle of Pride Month, as an example, how people choose to identify themselves, essentially their persona, what they manifest for identity. Even like, for instance, challenges in telehealth, where there are aspects of people's identity, they may be willing to share with a provider, but they're not going to share in a telehealth engagement at home because no one else in the family knows about it. And so problems with data entry, just as an example that's come up in the last 24 hours, 17 states in the U.S. have driver's license that allow you to put X to identify your gender beyond male or female. On the other hand, you go into an epic drop-down menu and there's no X, and then you have to get more specific into how you identify gender and how that information is shared either between you and your provider, how that provider shares it with somebody else, who comes back and says, how it's okay to share that and whether or not you've authorized that kind of sharing. So, so just the concepts of the patient identity and what they wish to share about their identity and information, not only is hard in, in most traditional encounters, capturing that information in electronic records is difficult. And I think you've also spoken the fact that these are people that are not designed to be, nor set out their career to be data entry clerks. And then add to that challenges around the data entry platform that they may have. There's rooms for error. There's rooms for <clears throat> requirements for correction. There's rooms for having to determine if authorization and sharing information is good or bad as part of the engagement. That, that paints a very challenging picture as to how identity factors into the care coordination and caregiving for an individual.